Oh my goodness, look at this egg and another teapot. This one has a dragon on it. And there's more. Look at these. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's a gorgeous Wednesday morning in Las Vegas. It's about 60 degrees, really, really sunny. It's absolutely lovely. I just pulled up to Goodwill, as you can see in the background there. The parking lot is quite busy. It's senior day, 40% off. So I anticipate it being a bit crowded in there. I'm going to have to do a good job of not filming other customers. So bear with me if the aisles are a bit tight and um, I can't get a good shot of all the shelves. I'll do my very, very best. Let's go in and see what they have. Let's go thrifting. So I've got my thrifting Vegas quilt and I've got some reusable um, bags. I didn't remember to bring any newspaper for wrapping so hopefully they have some of that at the counter. Sometimes they do and sometimes they're all out of it. But let's go in. We'll have to remember to look for the colour of the day. I'm looking through the window and I think I see that it's grey. So and let's go in and see what we can find. Thank you. There's only a few carts left. Let's grab this one. There we go. And let's spin around and sneak down this aisle all the way back to the hard goods. We have our new puppy. His name is Bear. He's a black German Shepherd and he is such a good boy. He already knows his name. It took him about 10 minutes to learn how to sit. We are working on house training at the moment. He's doing really, really well. Our cats are getting along quite well. Ziggy um, is not afraid and uh, they sniff each other. Bandit is a little more tentative. He's a bit scared of Bear, but I'm sure he'll come around quickly. Here we are in the hard goods. Let's see what they have. I'm immediately seeing Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore here, Easter theme. That's perfect. These will sell really quickly at this time of year. Uh-oh, I forgot my quilt. There we go. Just like that, it appears in the cart. <laughs> Look at this Black Panther. He's a reproduction but he looks very mid-century style, doesn't he? And he's only $2.99, so we'll get him. Lots of baggies down here. Oh, look at these pine cones. Pottery Barn is a great brand. Anything Pottery Barn is usually a good bet. Lots and lots of baggies, dolls on the bottom shelf. I think we've looked at most of these baggies before. This one has a lighthouse and the Eiffel Tower inside. That's quite the combination. <laughs> Mm, 
lots of angels on this shelf. Up here we've got some Easter bits. Look at these bunnies. That's exciting. Easter is one of my favorite holidays. I like this one, but it's hollow and not really of any value. This is a sweet little teapot. Oh, there's several over here. This is lovely. It looks like it has cherry blossoms on it. It is $7.99, but it's got good weight to it. It's metal and teapots are really collectible. They're very popular and I always sell through my teapots quite quickly on eBay. Let's put this one in the cart. There's a cowbell back here. Look at this. It's got some age to it. I really like that. Let's put this here. We've got another smaller teapot. It's quite similar to the large one. Metal with a nice design on it. Oh my goodness, look at this egg and another teapot. This one has a dragon on it. And there's more. Look at these. I don't know that these are too terribly valuable, but they're very unique, highly collectible. They just keep coming and coming here. <laughs> I think that's eight altogether. And another one down here. I'm going to have quite the teapot collection to list on eBay. I love this blue lusterware planter back here. It's not faded at all. It's in perfect condition, made in Czechoslovakia, and it's only $2. I'm seeing the name Kurt Adler on this Christmas ornament, so I'm having a look at it. Uh, it's more modern, so it's only worth about 5 to $10. But the older pieces imported by Kurt Adler can be worth some really good money. Working our way down here to the candles. This is a party light piece. It's a hanging candle holder for $1.99. It's really pretty, very vintage looking. I think we'll pick this one up. Let's set it right there gently. There we go. And keep looking. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Just checking everything to see if there's quality pieces. Most all of those I picked up were lightweight, not very well made. This is a piece of art glass, a project piece, as I believe this one is. And as pretty as they are, they just don't sell for much profit. So I'm going to leave them. On the other hand, if a piece, a project piece is really nicely done and really uh, has something special about it and I like it, I definitely will pick it up. Clear glass over here, bowls and trinket dishes, ashtrays. some candle holders that 
is a floral piece. Came in a uh, floral gift. It's a hotel giveaway. We're in the holiday section here, having a look. This 4th of July, Valentine's Day, some Easter and Thanksgiving, some fall bits. Oh, look at these Valentine's cards. I love to include a little card whenever I sell something, be it from my YouTube hauls or my eBay or Poshmark sales. I think it just adds a little personal touch to the sale and it keeps your customer coming back. Look at these bunny plates. These are Target. I think they um, originally came in a set of four. They say salad plate. There were four different designs. Let's just have a peek at this one underneath here and make sure it's in good condition. Yes, look how lovely those are. Easter's coming up, so I'm going to take those for $2.99. Let's keep looking. You never know, the other two might show up. quite a lot of stuff on this shelf so we have to have a dig oh that's going to go flying let's put that somewhere safely up here there we go and see what else there is lots of little plates candle pedestals tons of plastic eggs and baskets Still got some Christmas stockings around the corner here. Oh, one of my dear subscribers, she's been with me since the very beginning. Deb asked me to pick this up for her. I've got it, Deb, and I will include it in your shipment for you. There we go. Yay. Let's see. Still got some Christmas here. Seeing some new stuff and some stuff we've seen before. I'm wondering if they're just going to keep Christmas going all year. They certainly seem to have enough of it. It just keeps coming. <laughs> Look at all of that Christmas. This is a Mr. Christmas, the night before Christmas musical house. Now, ordinarily I might pick this up, it's $30, but I believe they sell for way over 100. But at the moment we're moving, we're sort of living between two houses, waiting for our um, bathrooms to be finished in the new house. S I've just got so much inventory to move and deal with. I'm going to leave it for somebody else. This is the wood and frames. Look at this gorgeous needlework piece. I believe this is a kit that's been completed. Look at the texture, the roof looks thatched, the tree looks like it's blossoming. It's a vintage frame dated 1979. This is gorgeous, I'm definitely going to take it. This is an interesting piece. I think it's a vase, it's really lightweight possibly balsa wood and the top has some sort of stitching in it that's so interesting i do like the weird and wonderful and it sells really well for me 
So for two dollars, we'll take that. Lots of frames and plaques. This is an interesting trivet. It does need uh, a good condition to that wood. Made in Japan, $2. Let's get it. Look at this cute little Winnie the Pooh Easter salt shaker for $2. And this little owl stocking holder. I'm going to grab both of these. Oh my goodness, this is a humongous French bulldog mug. It says Magnifique on it. That's fantastic. Look at his mustache. It's got a little bit of yucky on there, but I'm sure that will wash off. Let's set him carefully like that. There we go. And we'll pop round this corner to see what else there is in this aisle. Looks like there's some hanging pegs, more frames. It's a little welcome sign with bunnies. Let's put this back there and open it out so everybody can see it. That's lovely. More signs and cutting boards. What's up here? That looks like a shelf and then there's something under it. Let's maneuver that with one hand. It's a bit heavy. Oh goodness, speaking of heavy, this is a monster. What is it? Oh, it's a tray. Let's see if I can... There we go. Oh, it's lovely. It's a big glass tray with a wood frame. But... Uh, I think I'm going to pull this down here and leave it for somebody else. It's gorgeous, but it has to weigh six, seven, maybe eight pounds. More signs and frames over here. Knife blocks. Look at this. This is a vintage display piece, sort of farmhouse theme with little uh, kitcheny model bits in there, bags of flour. I think there's a basket of eggs and similar things. It's really sweet. Let's take that. Here we are in the vases, clear ones first, just having a look through for anything that catches my eye. Lots of matching pieces today, perfect for a party or a wedding or a shower. In the colored pieces, that is a very Hager-esque, but it's modern. It's a floral piece. What's this back here? Looks like glass. Another florist piece, quite inexpensive and lightweight. Oh, look at this little, is it a gray fox or is it a cat? Seems to have a foxy tail, doesn't it? It's lovely little planter. No chips, no cracks. $2.99, we'll take that.
in the florals now. This is an interesting piece. It's very brutalist. I think it's modern, but oh, it's super, super heavy. I think it's somebody's creation, possibly. Lots of silk flowers. What's that? That is a piece of wall decor. Interesting. In the metals now. Racks and plates and trays. There's some pewter mugs here. Pewter used to sell quite well, but not so much anymore. eBay is quite flooded. And unless there's a very unique design, uh, they're generally not worth picking up. Oh, sorry about that glare. That is bright. There we go. Made in Belgium. They are a bit knocked about though. They're a bit dented in the top. That's also pewter, a pitcher. Again, very dented and missing its lid. More metals. Oh, look at these little stocking holders, two stars. And then these are just very minimalist, black and gold, only $2. I think I'm going to grab these and pop them aside for next Christmas. Lots of racks and hooks and candle holders. More stocking holders there. couple of really tall, quite heavy candle holders. $3.99. I believe they are modern, not vintage, so I'm going to leave those for somebody else. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid, and what I expect to get for it. I'm doing my final pass through the shelves just to make sure I didn't miss anything. That's a burl wood base missing its decorative bits. These are egg cups. It looks like they have a little fox or dog on them made in Japan. That's a little pitcher. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. It's a nice glass jar here. It's a bit plain though. 
when things are plain and not marked they tend to be just a bit difficult to list and sell on eBay this is a vintage Rima for juicing lots of dishes bowls platters nice cake stand there bakers serving plates it's a very heavy but very pretty serving bowl. I believe this is for sugar packets. This guy, I think that comes from Target. It's missing its lid, sadly. Canisters there. Some quite colourful nesting bowls. I think they're modern. Yes. Mikasa Travel mugs over here. Not really seeing anything I have to have in this section today. Ooh, look at these coasters with old cars. Sadly, they're very, very warped, so I'll leave those. Can I get a linen tag for $1.99? This looks like a hamburger patty press. Lots of lids, pans, more knife blocks over here. Wilton cake set again that's something that used to sell quite well but now it very much depends on the model um, I've looked that one up recently so I know that they don't sell for more than about ten dollars have a quick look in the mug section here the huge mug collection is still here it's a Starbucks one now, sadly Starbucks have definitely gone out of trend on eBay prices have come way way down so if you are a Starbucks collector or a Starbucks fan 
definitely have a look on eBay for mugs. Not too many mugs down the bottom here today. These aisles are a bit tight when the stores are busy. People squeezing behind and you have to hug the shelf a bit. Those look like fiesta wear but they're modern. Looking again in the baskets and wood making sure I didn't miss anything. Boxes and trays. Frames. Ooh, look at this piece of art. It's a little boy with a rice bowl. It appears to be an original piece, really nicely done. Very vintage frame, only $2. Let's pop that in the cart. Look at this gorgeous Tonala Mexican pottery vase with the bird on it. I absolutely love this folk art look. It's raw pottery and the design is glazy paint. It's gorgeous. Just made some room. Let's pop it in the cart. having another look down here. This is a Schurich German vase. Some older pieces of this brand are collectible. This one is modern so I'm going to leave it. One more look in the Christmas. Oh this looks like a vintage red vase. I wonder if it glows. I'm seeing around the bottom there it looks a little bit like amberina fading to an orangey yellow. Let's get out my black light. I'm digging for it. Sorry I'm jigging the camera around. Here we go. Let's try to light that up. I do believe right at the bottom there is a little bit of amberina that is glowing. Looks like flames coming up from the inside. It's only 69 cents. Let's definitely take that. Let's have a stroll through the art before we leave just to see if there's anything that is interesting, any vintage frames, any original work. This is a fun little piece for a sewing room. Looks like somebody created that. In the furniture section that is a humongous chest. They've got couches. Quite an impressive chair here. 
Let's have a quick look through the pillows and we're on our way. Here on my stairs is everything I picked up at Goodwill. Ziggy has taken over the box and the blanket and Bandit is running back and forth trying, I think, to entice Ziggy to chase him so he in turn can steal the box. <laughs> Let's start out with this huge collection of what I believe to be Chinese teapots. Some of them are glass and metal with a sort of a cloisonne style finish on top. They have little monkeys and frogs on the top. This one is similar. And the glass reminds me of the uh, glass bangles bracelets that you can buy. This one is similar, except it's ceramic and painted with a rabbit on top. And these over here are metal very ornate lovely designs this one has a bird and the handle is a branch this one has a dragon this one has cherry blossoms on it I paid either eight for the big ones and four for the smaller ones. I'm really not so familiar with the value of the Asian style uh, items, so I will definitely be either putting them on eBay or taking offers on them. Bandit and Ziggy are wrestling over the box. <laughs> what are you doing? We have a little collection of Winnie the Pooh Easter items. There's two Pooh with uh, bunny ears. This one is actually a shaker. It's just a single. And then Pooh and Eeyore here um, seem to be a matching series. Pooh also has a cute little rabbit tail. I value these 15 to 20 dollars a piece. This is a party light candle holder. It's made of glass and it hangs on this quite ornate chain with glass beads. It's very lovely. I value this at 25 to thirty dollars. This is a quite unusual vase. It appears to be made of some sort of very lightweight wood and uh, it has sort of stitching 
that repairs some either purposeful or non-purposeful crack. It looks to be copper wire. Just a really interesting, looks to be very old piece. So if anybody has any knowledge of this item, I would appreciate you leaving me a comment, letting me know. I was so excited to find this Tonala bird vase. I absolutely love these folk art pieces. The bird is painted on there. It's not signed, unfortunately. That's just the Goodwill cost $13 red tag. It's quite quite heavy. I value it at $25 to $30. This is a gorgeous complete stitchery kit. It's a mill with a water wheel and the texture is fabulous. You can see the water and the bubbles, the trees and the thatched roof are all wonderfully textured. It's absolutely gorgeous. The paper on the back, if I can get it to focus, 6805 Autumn Mill Pond by Sunset Designs in 1979. I paid $2.99 for it and I value it at $40. Pottery Barn makes these amazing pine cone candles in a set of three. I paid $4.99 for them and I value them at $20 to $25. Back here we have this little planter. I think it's either a little grey fox or a cat. It's glazed and raw pottery around the eyes, ears and paws. I paid $2.99 for it and I value it at $20 to $25. This French Bulldog mug is fantastic. This guy has a moustache. The mug is oversized. It's absolutely huge. I don't know if you can tell when I hold it how big it is. Really lovely big mug. If you're a French Bulldog lover, it says Magnifique. I paid 99 cents for it. I value it at $25. Here we have the cutest little owl stocking holder. I believe he's a target piece. He's just so cute with his little red sweater and green hat. I paid 99 cents for him. I value him at $15. This is a Japanese trivet. It's a glazed tile set on wood. The wood is a little worse for wear. It's definitely vintage, made in Japan. Looks like it went through savers and then back to Goodwill. <laughs> the wood definitely needs a good soaking of mineral oil to bring it back to life. And I shall perhaps do that in a video once we are moved and settled in our new house hopefully very soon. I found another set of uh, stocking holders. These are quite simple and minimal. They're black with a gold hook. 
I paid a dollar ninety nine for them. I value them at twenty to twenty five for the set. This is a cowbell. I'm not sure if it's old or just made to look old. It has some rust on the inside. The clapper is uh, solid metal. It is a nice quality piece. I paid $1.99 for it and I value it at $15. I believe this Black Panther is a replica of Royal Hager's mid-century modern pieces. It's a lovely piece. I paid $2.99 for it and I value it at $20 to $25. This is the sweetest little kitchen decoration. It is a little wall hanging and inside it has little kitcheny items, a basket of eggs, little bowls, oops, an iron, bags of salt and flower maybe and I'm not quite sure what that is just a little hanging decoration very vintage I paid $3.99 I value it at $25 I found this little set of egg cups they're vintage made in Japan I believe it's either a little fox or cat or possibly an owl on each one. I paid two dollars for the pair. I value them at fifteen dollars. This metal egg I found along with all the teapots. I ended up paying $2.99 for it. And I'm wondering now if it's some sort of, um, not a finial, but a curtain rod end, but I don't think so. I think possibly there were some jewels in these um, inset holes here and they got removed, which I'm really not sure what it's made of, what it's for. So if anybody knows, if you could let me know, that would be fantastic. I found these two little bunny plates from Target with Easter coming. I thought I'd pick them up. The salad plates, I believe they um, came in a set of four, Target's Threshold brand. I value this pair at $15 to $20. Last but not least, I found this really fantastic original artwork. It's a little boy eating a bowl of rice with chopsticks and it's in a frame it's signed the frame is very vintage here's the signature on the back it looks like it says rose granite pillars and that's possibly referring to where the boy is sitting And the signature, as best I can make out, says Big Sampson Conan. Again, if anybody is familiar with this artist or this art, if you could let me know in the comments, that would be wonderful. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the shopping, the haul, and I hope you stay and enjoy the footage of our new puppy bear. If you are interested in anything you see in the haul, please go ahead and send an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. We are moving house this week. So please bear with me if you don't hear back from me right away. I apologize. Things are a bit hectic, but I do read your emails and I will respond as soon as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and commenting and I'll see you next time. Bye. It's Sunday, January the 9th, and Chris and I are on our way to Arizona to pick up our new black German Shepherd puppy. He's 10 weeks old. His name is Bear. We are so excited to be able to bring him home today. It's about an hour and a half drive from where we live to where we have to go pick him up. And, uh, we will see you when we get there. Hello. Hello, sweet girl. <laughs> He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's going to be very big. He talks to you. Oh, that He's got this deep mama talk. <laughs> You're here. Elsa! Mm -hmm. Oh, you're Elsa. so mean. She's a little mean. Oh, Elsa. they're going to miss each other. Elsa! She's got to be my brother. <laughs> was that him, Grandly? That was him. Yep. Wow. He's got a big voice. A big He's got a big voice. Did you guys get Yes. Your... Yeah. Um, I've been cutting back on that more and more. You know? Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Does that look like a ball? It does, huh? It looks like a ball. I know. Yeah. Hi. So, these have to show shots. Okay. And he'll need his second one right away, right? And uh, he'll need his second set of shots, I believe, next week. Next week, okay. Next They do take turns beating each other up. <laughs> get it, Bear. Mama's got to get her video footage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're going to miss each other. They are. Baby's been very close. I don't have you guys to replace. Yeah. Yeah, the kids are just beside themselves. So excited. I'm in Jake's room and Bear is laying at my feet. And here's Ziggy. He's come to say hi. Hi, Z. He's just going to hang out. What's he doing, Bear? Did he come to say hi? Can we come to say hi there? Come on, see? Ziggy.
Get it, bear. <laughs> Good boy. And clean it up there. There. There he is. Hello. He's a good boy. He's a good boy.